I graduated from FAU in 1976 uh, with a bachelor's degree in history. Um, and from that, I, my, roughly my career path was, uh, I went to work for Congressman Paul G. Rogers, who was the representative from here, South Florida, in, uh, in the Palm Beach area. Uh, then I went to the House Foreign Affairs Committee staff and worked there for uh, a couple of years, and then the uh, United States Agency for International Development. In the meantime, I went, did a master's degree at Georgetown, um, and then I went to Japan uh, with my Japanese wife, and I uh, uh, went and took a PhD in political science at Tokyo University. Then I was a college professor at Temple University and Stanford. I ran the Stanford Center in Japan. Um, and then I switched out of academia and became a corporate warrior. Uh, I was a senior executive with Motorola Japan. Then I was vice president and director of Motorola Europe. Then I was um, uh, president of Boeing Japan. And then uh, uh, I retired from Boeing to go help a friend of mine uh, run for president, a fellow by the name of Barack Obama. And uh, he won. And uh, uh, in the meantime, I had been a head of a foundation, but he won. And next thing, I became the United States uh, ambassador to the Asian Development Bank. Along the way, I believe that history was a major component because I think that one of the things that, that to understand about history that teaches you a lot about where we've been, where we've been, and you really can't determine where you're going unless you know where you've been. And I always was sensitive to understanding where each of my different career paths, where, where things had been before I was there in order to chart the course forward. So I think that's one of the most important elements of having studied history at FAU. I took history, not only of American history, but I took uh, eight, a lot of Asian history. I studied uh, European, German history. Um, and so it gives you a greater sense of where these other countries that you're dealing with have been. And also, you have a, an, in, a, an innate desire to understand the background, the development, the whys and wherefores uh, of where different countries were. So that is no, there's no question that that helped me in terms of uh, serving overseas. Because the FAU history department is so diverse, and, and even 40 years ago, you didn't have the number of faculty members, that, of course, that you have today. But it was still pretty diverse, and uh, I think that being able to study about different aspects of histor history uh, allowed me to develop skills that I could apply in every single one of the professions that I was in. Even in the corporate world, uh, some people, even though I was president of Boeing, uh, some people uh, jokingly referred to me as Boeing's historian. Uh, because I was always trying to develop an understanding of how these aircraft, when they were, why they were developed, in order to pitch forward. Because if, I, if you have a grounding in the past, it, I think you are much better equipped to have a grounding for going forward. For any student who might want to major in history, I, I re highly recommend history as a, as a, as a degree. I, by the way, I have a lot of friends in senior positions in government and business who had history undergrads, or even some of them have master's degrees in history. Usually you go beyond that, you're pointed toward academia, but um, it's, you'd be surprised and be amazed. I, I, my most advanced degree, uh, PhD, is in political science, but I had a wonderful friend uh, by the name of Chalmers Johnson, who was a very famous political scientist, expert on Asia. And he once told me, he said, every great political scientist at heart is a historian. And I think that's so true for a lot of other professions. Uh, I've met people with degrees in history who went on to do something in engineering and they always return to that first love which is often history. So I, I think it is a, is a terrific degree and it, ha it allows you to have a great diversity of, of options going forward. One thing that I really appreciated, particularly in the history department, was the accessibility of the professors. Here. I mean, you could go in and I can remember spending probably more time than I should have uh, with different professors in their offices, chatting a long time, and you felt that you had that personal touch. 
I'll give you one story that was kind of fun. And I told this to um, um, Professor Lowe yesterday. Uh, well, I was a, a work-study student in the Department of Languages and Linguistics, because German is my, was my, German and Japanese are my two languages. And by the way, I highly recommend anyone stu studying any discipline to, to study la foreign languages. But um, I was also a tutor in the language department. And I had this one tutor, this one student, she was about a 50-year-old woman at the time, this is 1975, 76, and she was studying German. But as often the case, we like to sort of chit-chat beyond just studying German. So she asked me at one point, what would you like to do when you graduate to finish? And I said, well, I said, I think I want to be in the State Department. And she said, oh, that's very interesting. She said, uh, my father was in the State Department. I said, really? Oh, well, that is so cool. I said, where did, where did you live? What countries did you, were you stationed in? Things like that. And she said, oh, he wasn't stationed overseas. I said, really? I said, well, what did your father do? And she said, well, he was Secretary of State. Really? I said, well, what, what, what's your father's name? She said, oh, Dean Atchison. So I was flabbergasted. Dean Atchison was a very famous Truman administration uh, Secretary of State. So I told the history that the chairman was Don Curl at the time. I said, I got this daughter of, <laughs> of Dean Atchison, my student. So we very quickly brought her to the history department office. And the whole faculty piled in and we're, we heard the Dean Atchison stories for a little while. So that's, those are kind of fun memories for me.